Oh my. Wow. For umami, this is really, really good. Hi. Gong Xi Fa Cai, Wan Shi Rui. If you're not watching this video during Chinese New Year, then I wish you a pleasant day too. Today we'll be cooking Teochew Fish Hot Pot or Teochew He Lo. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to shallow fry our yam. Heat up some oil. Make sure that oil is hot enough using a bamboo chopstick or skewer. Put a bamboo chopstick inside the oil. And if you see bubbles rising up like this, that means this is done. All right, we will now add in our yam. I have with me over here 280 grams of yam cut into small pieces like this. We'll just fry this up. We just need to brown them. The purpose of doing so is that later when we cook them in the soup, they will not break up that easily and it cooks much faster. I'm using medium heat for this, so we can do the same too. You just need to brown them a little bit. This will take several minutes. I'll show you how they look like in a while. Now this is almost ready, as you can see. Right, some of them are starting to brown on the sides like this. Okay, we don't have to cook them till they are thoroughly brown. We just remove them from the oil right now. Do not turn off the heat. This will be very good. Actually, this is my mom's favorite. So once you have taken out everything, using the same oil, we'll fry our soul fish. Using the same heat, we'll add in our soul fish. Four pieces of soul fish here, approximately 30 grams in total. Just put them in. This will be pretty fast actually. Just fry them up because it will be more fragrant this way. When we don't see any bubbles left, that means the soul fish are done. Remember to flip them and turn them around. We don't want to burn them. Soul fish is a must because this is the secret ingredient to make this dish really, really good. As you can see, there's not much of a bubbles left. Let's fry this for a little while more. This smaller piece is done. Let's just remove this. Okay, we can remove all of them already. We'll just pour out the oil, leaving about one or two tablespoons behind. And I'll show you how I assemble the dish. I'll see you back in a while. Now we put our dish together using medium heat. Add in one thumb size of ginger, sliced thinly like this. We're just going to fry until the sides are a little bit brown. Move them around a little bit. We need to get the fragrance out. Continue to fry the ginger. I remove a little bit of oil from the wok because there's just a little bit too much. Now that the sides of the ginger are browning, we'll add in our soul fish. Put in your soul fish. You can break them up so that the flavor is basically very easily mixed up with the water later. Just move them around a little bit. Now we add in our water. I'm adding in two liters of water. Add in also one cube of anchovy stock cube or ikan bilis stock cube and one cube of chicken stock cube. Put them all in. We'll put the lid on and wait for this to come to a boil. I'll catch you back in a while. Once the stock comes to a boil, we'll add in our other ingredients. We'll add in the yam that we have fried just now. Just slide them in. About 280 to 300 grams of Napa cabbage. Put them in also. This will help sweeten up the soup too. One whole soft tofu, just slide them all in. Two whole tomatoes, kind to wages, slide them in also. We'll put the lid back on and wait for this to come to a boil. I'll see you back in a while. The soup is boiling already. Let's just give this a taste before we add in our evaporated milk. Wow. 
the soul fish really really does make a lot of difference. We need to add a little bit of salt. We add in one teaspoon of salt. Add in a few dashes of pepper. Give it a light stir. Now if you like your soup clear like this, then you don't have to add in evaporated milk. But for us, we like the taste of it with the evaporated milk. I'm adding in 100 milliliters of evaporated milk. Just pour it in. We need to wait for this to come to a boil before we add our fish. Look at how beautiful this is. You can do this with fish and with the remaining soup. You can use this as a hot pot too. So this is very versatile and very fast and easy to cook. Once the soup is boiling, we add in our fish. I have with me over here 350 grams of fish already filet. This is red snapper. You can use any fish that you like, be it pomfret or grouper. No problem at all. Just slide them in. You can just ask your fishmonger to fillet the fish for you. Just make sure they have contact with the soup. And once the fish is cooked, which takes about two minutes or so, it's time for our reunion dinner. We have this hot pot from a Zicha store. And look at how beautiful this dish is. Now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Yummy. <sighs> Smells absolutely delicious. Let's try the fish. Mmm. And then sweet. Let's try the soup. Oh my, wow. For umami, this is really, really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video, to click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to cook. See you, bye-bye. Mm.